Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to some more Neo 2 walkthrough, real walkthrough, now playthrough with my skill build. And yeah, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking on the boss of this area, the Tatari Moke. And before we do that, let's go ahead and use our prestige point into Amrita turn. Alright, now we're ready to rumble. This boss is pro like the most annoying part about this boss is probably when it drags you into dark ground because um you'll see and I'll show you guys the best way that I found to deal with it. So here we go. go one okay usually has a two hit combo two see then you can get a few shots if you're directly behind them we'll try to do um shit a uh, spin attack oh no oh it broke the stamina cool all right let's try to break that see the ball on the right side that is gonna be kind of annoying because it's gonna shoot those little ghost things at us first attack on first counter once we break its stamina the dark realm goes away see uh, be careful about sta standing near him after he gets up because of uh, the wake of attack one oh, to grab see we're directly behind him spin attack you can dodge through it should he can attack and dodge through it as well. One, two combo. Oh, three hits. He rarely does a third hit. Sometimes he does. Oh, just as I'm saying it, like he really does it. He's doing it more often now. Yeah. You pop this right next to him. Like if you can get him to one of the jars and you pop him, pop the jar like right next to him, it does so much like damage to him. It does a lot of stamina damage. I don't think I'm gonna be able to break the stamina. Yeah. There we go, first counter. Ah, we're back in this shit again. Is there another one of the jars? I think there's only two here. So I'm out of luck. It's okay, let's just do it the classic way. Just burst counter the crap out of it. There we go. Ouch. Those little ghost things on the side won't hurt as much as him. If you pop the ball, it will actually break him out of the dark realm as well. But there's also a chance he'll sneak up on you with an attack. So that's what I'm like afraid of doing. That's why I don't go after the ball. Come on, just need one more hit. Ah damn, he's really like surviving by the skin of his teeth right there. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the motorcycle that just went by. I don't know why there's like super loud vehicles. It's like what four it's four thirty nine AM right now. Yeah. F those guys with the loud ass motorcycles that freaking drive or ride around at night. I don't know what what it is. Maybe it's just their only way of transportation. But I don't know. 
like super late and I, I, I don't see the reason to you know get yourself a long less noisy bike maybe okay um let's keep a high level one I guess this will what's the how do you lock this thing there we go so I don't actually sell it or dismantle it yeah that's the highest one we got so I'm gonna keep that just for the Tsudama trace I always try to keep something that's super high level and if possible a high rarity so hopefully I can get something back with the same rarity oh I also have a prestige point again wait I don't what okay maybe it was just a title whatever all right let's proceed with the quest ない光を取り戻すとき、床闇を払い、猛者を清めるときく。この手に残されていた唾が輝く道筋をようやく示した。綱が男児を久しに信長様の道穴に参じよついでに家康殿へも火星を求める早馬柄にもない真似をあれはお味方ですか綺麗<笑>
Tokichiro be arriving on the scene all late and shit. <laughs> Uh, I think this is new. Like, I think they recently added this in. That's why the mission's blue. Uh, there was a recent, like, update or something. Uh, after they announced the first DLC. So, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to beat this. I'm trying to finish this walkthrough before the, I take on the DLC. Okay, so the level, it seems like it's. it says it's hard. Like, it's harder than usual. So let me just clear these uh, notifications and we will go to, we'll go do our blacksmith stuff. Should I dismantle or should I sell? Yes, dismantle. For now. There we go, uh, forge armor, 45 to 54, what do we got going on right now? Okay, we're like, yeah, it, we are underpowered, so let's forge, and this is RNG here, so. Okay. We got a blue one. I'll take that. It's 54. It's the highest level that we can get right now, so I'll take it. Like right now, I I'm just trying to like get better defense. No, it's yellow, so f that. <laughs> I can stay in the inventory. Uh, that's white. Nope, it's pure common. So screw that. Why am I getting shit rarity right now? Damn, I can't even get a blue. I mean, the level sucks, but it's blue. No, it's gotta be above 50. Come on, there we go. I need a defense, because this game, man, I don't know how you guys feel about the damage, but that shit hurts. Like, if you don't have good defense, a simple grab can just end your run right there. So, I'm trying to get, like, <laughs> decent defense here more than anything. Uh, and then focus on stats like later, like once you beat the game once, and then you get the divine weapons and stuff. Then I would suggest you like you, you can worry about um, the stats and stuff. Like other than other than that, like you don't worry about like these purple items with the stats because um you're not gonna use them in ng plus if you're planning uh, to play ng plus if you're not planning to play ng plus i suggest you still try to get the divine weapons because it will help out on the dlcs i'm assuming um yeah i don't know who knows <laughs> maybe you can make it by with just purple items but um yeah up to you guys but i just want to focus on defense for now and then once we get into once we beat the game then I'll fi uh, I'll focus on the stats probably <laughs> since this is my walkthrough character I don't know if I'll like tweak it too much because I'm trying to keep it simple so for those of you guys using this as a guide playing along you know you don't have you won't be at a disadvantage because I hate it when um when I watch videos of people. Well, back in the day I do. I don't really do that anymore these days. <laughs> I come up with my own strategies. But back in the day when I use walkthroughs, like I hate it when the like the person I'm watching always has this like Excalibur build or something like that. They like one shot, two shot bosses and stuff like that. And I'm like, bro, I really have a stick as a weapon. You already has like the X. You already have like freaking Excalibur. Anyways. Um, I'm ranting here, so yeah, um, that will just end off our run. In the next episode, we will be taking on corpses and ice. So yeah, this is actually, um, I don't want to say anything because usually if I say it's easy or whatever, if I say it's easy, I get wrecked. If I say it's hard, I might be exaggerating, so yeah, anyways, that's it for now. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, 
I hope to catch you on the next episode. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Homes, out.